Hey guys, it's Ari. Welcome to the channel, and today we'll be looking at how to connect Apple's 27-inch Thunderbolt display to a modern Mac. Now, this display was originally released in 2011, but even in 2019, it remains to be still relatively modern. Some of the features of this display are that it has a 2560 by 1440 resolution, it has a set of built-in speakers, and a 720p iSight camera. But on the back of this display are where things get a little more interesting. It has three USB Type-A ports, one FireWire 800 port, one Thunderbolt port, which allows you to daisy chain another one of these monitors to this setup, and a gigabit Ethernet port. These features are pretty unique even by modern standards, which makes the 27-inch Thunderbolt display a pretty nice addition to any modern Mac setup. Now connecting this display to a newer Mac is actually pretty easy. Now there are two cables coming out of the back of the Thunderbolt display. The top one being the display's power cable, and the bottom one being the display's connector cables. Now this connection cable splits at its end. The first connector you may see is Apple's MagSafe connector. This is an old power adapting standard that Apple used to have before 2016. And the other cable being the Thunderbolt cable, which is signified by a small lightning bolt symbol. Now, I know on Amazon there is a USB Type-C to MagSafe adapter, which in theory would allow you to adapt the Thunderbolt Display's MagSafe adapter to powering a more modern MacBook. I'm personally not going to recommend this because it's like a cheap $20 adapter and it's expecting to power a 15-inch MacBook Pro. But for me, what I've decided to do is use the original Type-C power brick and cable the MacBook came with to charge my setup. And what I've done with the MagSafe adapter on the Thunderbolt display is simply Velcro it out of the way so I don't have to deal with it. Now for that Thunderbolt cable. It has the small lightning bolt symbol on it. It's pretty easy to adapt it to a newer Mac with Thunderbolt 3. You simply just need Apple's Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 adapter. You simply just have to plug the Thunderbolt cable into the adapter and the adapter into your Mac. And that's it. No additional software or setup required. This adapter does allow you to have full control over brightness and audio through OSX natively. Now that being said, Apple's Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 adapter does not work with Mini DisplayPort or any other DisplayPort monitors. This means if you have a 24 inch cinema display, this adapter will not work. But if you do have a 24 inch cinema display and you want to learn how to connect it to a modern Mac, please check out the video here. Now this adapter will work with these modern Macs that I'll list below. In conclusion, Apple's 27-inch Thunderbolt display is still an amazing device, even in 2019. It has useful features like decent screen resolution, some built-in speakers, and an amazing amount of rear I.O. This makes it the perfect hub and companion for any newer Mac setup that lacks that variety of port selection. And considering you can pick one of these up for a couple hundred bucks off eBay makes it even more compelling than when you compare it to Apple's $1,200 LG 5K Ultrafine. If you own a 27-inch Thunderbolt display, I hope this video has helped you keep using it well into the future. And if you're thinking about buying a 27-inch Thunderbolt display, I hope this video has shown that yes, it can work with newer Mac hardware, and that it's actually still pretty good even in 2019. If you've enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I will also link any of the products and things shown in this video down in the description below. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.